so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in this class guys we'll be talking about the pib news from 29th to 30th of june 2023 and i hope the final revisions are going well today after this class we'll have a marathon session of rbi 247 so please attend that and uh, these marathon sessions are just meant for the final and quick revisions राइट इन मैथ इन मैराथन्स को बार बार देखने आपको जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज यू गाइज हैव वेरी लेस टाइम नाउ ठीक है तो एक दो बार अगर आप देखना चाहो तो आप देख सकते हो बट रिपीटेटिवली इनको देखने का आपके पास टाइम होगा नहीं बिकॉज दीज विल बी लॉन्गर सेशन ठीक है एंड लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर थिंग दैट टूडे वी आर कवरिंग द न्यूज द डेट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन टू थर्टी एट जून बट सम न्यूज ऑफ द मंथ ऑफ जून आर स्टिल लेफ्ट नाउ टेल मी लेट मी टेल यू द रीजन द रीजन इज दिस गाइज the you know there have been various a lot of news in the last week of the month of june theek okay? hai so i just don't want to uh, increase the length of the session theek okay? hai main nahi chahta ki bahut lambi lambi classes ho aur aap logo ka dimag kharab ho but don't you worry guys don't you worry i'll include all those news in the upcoming videos uh, in the month of july theek okay? hai jo bhi abhi july mein ek do july ki videos aayengi usme main sari news cover kar dunga so you guys don't have to worry about anything theek okay? hai ji bas maine aapko bata diya बिकॉज कुछ लोग जो है वो पी आई बी की वेबसाइट पर जाते हैं एंड देन दे आस्ट मी कि भाई ये बात की चीज तो आपने कवर नहीं करी तो कवर होगा सब कुछ कवर होगा बट यू गाइज हैव टू वेट फॉर अ वाइल एंड येस कब तक का करंट अफेयर्स करना है फोर्थ जुलाई तक का आपको करंट अफेयर्स करके जाना है तो फोर्थ जुलाई तक चाहे पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन हो या आर बी टू फोर सेवन हो या स्पॉटलाइट है फेज वन के लिए आपको फोर्थ जुलाई का करके जाना है बाकी पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन बाकी आपको करना तो जुलाई पूरा मंथ ही है फॉर द फेज टू एज वेल ठीक है ऑल द थ्री Spotlight, PIB, and RBI. All right. So let's begin with today's uh, class, and let's talk about the very first thing, which is the achievement, the nine years achievement of Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, and Dairying. Now, this thing, I am very afraid that Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, and Dairying has been out. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has been out. The nine years achievement, which we have discussed in the previous class. Uh, I am afraid that all the other ministries will not be out because these nine years achievements are too long. Now, you will understand. क्यों मैंने सेशन में जो जून की कुछ न्यूज है वो नहीं ली है बिकॉज ये बहुत लंबा है राइट right? तो आई होप कि बाकी मिनिस्ट्रीज अभी रिलीज ना करें आरबीए के एग्जाम के बाद एटलीज कर दें तो आप लोगों के ऊपर थोड़ा बर्डन कम आएगा बट एनी वेज लेट सी क्या होता है फिलहाल मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एंड मलजेंड्री एंड डेरिंग हैज रिलीज इट्स नाइन ईयर्स अचीवमेंट राइट एंड दीज अचीवमेंट विच वी आर टॉकिंग टूडे आर ओनली फ्रॉम द एनिमल हजबेंड्री ये केवल एनिमल हजबेंड्री अचीवमेंट है फिशरीज की बाद में आएंगी ठीक है जी सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर फर्स्ट एंड लेट्स लुक लेट्स लुक इन टू दी अचीवमेंट ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग इन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स तो लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर ग्रू एट ए सी ए जी आर कंपाउंड एनुअल ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री परसेंट ड्यूरिंग टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी 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 वन एट कॉन्स्टेंट its contribution in total agriculture and allied sector gva has increased from 24.32% in financial year 15 to 30.13% in financial year 21 and it contributed 4.90% of total gva in financial year 21 these three data are very very important very very important talking about dairy sector so remember it is uh, india is single largest sorry dairy sector is Single largest agricultural commodity, con which contributes five percent of the national economy and employing and it employs more than eight crore farmers directly. Remember, we all know this. India ranks first in the milk production, contributing twenty three percent of the global milk production. Right? In India, the milk production has been increased by over fifty one percent in the past eight years, from this much million tons to this much million tons. You can ignore these numbers. However, you you have to remember this percentage. 51.05% and it is growing the milk production in the country is growing at an annual growth rate of 6.4% over the last 8 years and which is very high than the global uh, milk production right and the global milk production is growing at the just rate of 1.2% per annum and per capita availability of milk in the country we have discussed it later uh, earlier also 444 gram per day in financial year 21 22 as against The world average of just three ninety four grams. Okay, sir. Now talking about again meat production. So India ranks third in egg production and eighth in the meat production in the world. Egg production has been increased from seventy eight point four eight billion numbers in financial year fifteen 
to 1 to 9.60 billion numbers in financial year 22. It is growing at the rate of 8% per annum. This fact is very, very important. And especially Nabad people, aap log log ho jau, is se question aane wale definitely. Per capita availability of egg is 95 eggs per annum in financial year 21-22. And meat production in India has increased from 6.69 million tons in financial year 15 to 9.29 million tons in financial year 22. All right. Then uh, the release has talked about uh, the Rashtra Gokul mission about which the question has been asked in the previous RBI grid B examination, but you never know that this time will come. The Rashtra Gokul mission is being implemented for development and conservation of indigenous bovine breeds. Right? The objective is the development and conser conservation of indigenous bovine breeds and it is being implemented since 2014. It was extended. It has been actually not recently, I, I believe in last year, it was extended till financial year 2026 with a total outlay of 2400 crores. Okay. And there are various components under Rashtra Gokul mission. Number one, accelerated breed improvement program using IVF. Now under this component, two lakh IVF pregnancies will be established in the upcoming five years and subsidy will be given at the rate of rupees 5,000 per assured pregnancy. Okay. Ji? Next component is sex sorted semen production, <clears throat> which was introduced for introduction of only female calves up to 90% accuracy so that we can increase the milk production again in the country. During the next five years, 51 lakh pregnancies will be established under this component and a subsidy of rupees 750 or 50% of the cost of sorted semen on assured pregnancy will be provided to the farmers. Establishment of breed multiplication farms. So the entrepreneurs who are establishing the breed multiplication farms of minimum herd size of 200 heads of bovine, they are getting a subsidy of 50% up to rupees 2 crore per farm on the capital cost. Okay, 50% or 2 crore per farm up to a maximum of 2 crore per farm on capital cost, right? Nationwide Artificial Insemination Program, it was launched in 2019 in 605 districts with less than 50% AI coverage. Now here AI, don't confuse it with artificial intelligence, it is artificial insemination, right? Under this component, quality AI services are delivered free of cost at the farmer's doorstep. And in this particular financial year, the target is to inseminate 3 crore annuals in 592 districts. 3 crore animals in 592 districts. All right. Induction of Maitris, which is multi-purpose AI technicians in rural India and through Maitris AI services, which is artificial insemination services have been delivered at the farmer's doorstep. Right. Another component is establishment of Gokul Gram. Now, what is the Gokul Gram? Gokul Gram is nothing but as in, but an integrated indigenous cattle development center. Right. The objective of establishing Gokul Gram is to conserve and develop indigenous bovine breeds in a scientific and holistic manner. And 16 Gokul Grams ke liye fund release kiya ja raha hai by the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. Right? Funds are being released for the establishment of 16 Gokul Grams. Now, National Gopal Ratna Award are given every year, which is one of the highest national awards in the field of livestock and dairy sector. The awards are given in three categories, which are best dairy farmer rearing indigenous cattle or buffalo breeds, best artificial insemination technician and best dairy cooperator. And this award consists of a certificate of merit, memento and a cash prize of rupees 5 lakh for the first rank holder, 3 lakh for the second and 2 lakh for the third. All right. Now National Kam Denu Breeding Center are being established, have been established actually under the Rashtra Gokul mission, right? And two centers, one each in one each for the northern and southern region have been established. Okay. So southern region wala jo hai, that is in Chintala Devi in the lower district of Andhra Pradesh, while the northern region one is in Kiratpur in Narmadapuram district of Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Ji? These are very important. Ye yaad rakna. Then there is an e-Gopala app and Gopala here stands for generation of wealth to through productive livestock. This app was launched in the year 2020, which is a comprehensive breed improvement marketplace and information portal for the direct use of farmers. Okay, ji? okay now next that uh, the release has talked about is the national program for dairy development for which the second phase is uh, will be launched in you know very near future. The national program for dairy development was launched in the year 2014.
एक्सटेंडेड पीरियड इज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू टू फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ठीक है टू क्रिएट स्ट्रेंदन और टू क्रिएट और स्ट्रेंदन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्वालिटी मिल्क इट्स प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोसेसिंग एंड मार्केटिंग ऑफ मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स बाय द स्टेट इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी सो इट दिस प्रोग्राम इज ऑल अबाउट द मिल्क राइट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्वालिटी मिल्क देन टू इट्स प्रोक्योरमेंट देन टू इट्स प्रोसेसिंग एंड देन टू इट्स मार्केटिंग ठीक है जी एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस दिस प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो इन्वाइस दिस टू इनहेंस द क्वालिटी ऑफ मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स ठीक है जी नाउ देर आर टू कॉम्पोनेट अंडर इट देर आर टू कॉम्पोनेट कॉम्पोनेट ए विच फोकस इज टूवर्ड्स creating or strengthening of infrastructure for quality milk testing equipment as well as primary chilling facilities now what is this quality milk testing equipment so the equipment through which the quality milk could be tested right then the duration is again for the 5 years the component b is daring through cooperative which is for increasing the sales of milk right it is for increasing the sales of milk and dairy products by increasing now how the sales of milk and dairy products will be increased by increasing the farmers access to organized market upgrade dairy processing facilities etc the total outlay of the component b is 1568.28 crores and out of which japan international cooperation agency which in short is jica is providing some support that is uh, 924.56 crores theek hai thoda bahut paisa central government area thoda bahut paisa participating institutes duration to 5 saal hi hai and remember the component b is implemented is being implemented is only in few states which are uttar pradesh bihar west bengal madhya pradesh punjab andhra pradesh telangana rajasthan and uttarakhand so i think these are nine states where the component b of national program for dairy development is being implemented uttar pradesh bihar west bengal madhya pradesh punjab andhra pradesh telangana rajasthan and uttarakhand and remember it is being implemented by national dairy development board which is very obvious all right now this is something uh, which is new although ye purani scheme hai but ab is inhone iske bare mein bataya hai isse pehle kabhi nahi bataya hai to theek hai pad lete hain supporting dairy cooperatives and spos engaged in dairy activities it is a scheme the objective as the name says it is for providing support to the dairy cooperatives and farmer pro, uh, producer organizations which are engaged in dairy activities now how uh, this support is being provided the support is being provided by providing loans राइट बाय प्रोवाइडिंग लोन्स इनको लोन्स दिए जाते हैं ठीक है जी सो बाय प्रोवाइडिंग सॉफ्ट वर्किंग कैपिटल लोन टू टाइड ओवर क्राइसिस ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ सीवियरली एडवर्स मार्केटिंग कंडीशन इट इज नाउ बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड एज पार्ट ऑफ अम्ब्रेला स्क्रीन इन स्कीम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड फ्रॉम द इन फॉर द 15 फाइनेंस कमीशन पीरियड फॉर अ विद अ टोटल आउटले ऑफ 500 करोड़ ठीक है एंड इट इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड विद बजटरी एलोकेशन ऑफ 100 करोड़ ड्यूरिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर 22 23 मतलब लास्ट ईयर में इसको 100 करोड़ मिले थे और पूरे 2021 22 से 25 26 तक कितने मिलेंगे 500 करोड़ ऑलराइट अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन ऑफ 2% पर एनम इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द वर्किंग कैपिटल लोन एंड फॉर प्रॉम्प्ट एंड टाइमली रीपेमेंट एंड एडिशनल 2% इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन इज आल्सो एप्लीकेबल ठीक है जी नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हिच द रिलीज हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट इज द नेशनल livestock mission national livestock mission the objective is the sustainable development of livestock sector this thing you should keep in your mind sustainable development of livestock sector is the objective theek hai and uh, the uh, improving avail availability of quality feed and fodder risk coverage effective extension improved flow of credit and organization of livestock farmers or rearers now you don't have to remember the objective word by word that is not at all required they are not going to ask uh, the objective right aur agar objective aaya exam mein samne likha hua to you guys can easily identify it it was launched in financial year 2015 and has been revised and realigned with the total outlay of 2300 crores uh, for the 5 years that is again for the 15th finance commission period theek okay? hai there are three submissions under it one is for breed development of livestock and poultry one is for feed and fodder development and one is for extension and innovation under this particular mission under live national livestock mission uh, for the first time the central government is providing direct 50% subsidies to the individuals shgs joint liability groups fpos and section 8 companies all right and subsidy units kitna mil raha hai poultry farm activities ke liye up to rupees 25 lakhs 
शीप एंड गोट ब्रीड मल्टीप्लीकेशन फार्म अप टू रुपीज फिफ्टी लाख टिग्री ब्रीड मल्टीप्लीकेशन फार्म थर्टी लाख एंड फीड एंड फॉर्डर यूनिट रुपीज फिफ्टी लाख नाउ आई नो गाइज यू विल बी से भाई इतना सब कुछ कैसे करेंगे तो ठीक है यार अब आई डोंट आई डेंट नो कि सरकार इस मौके पे ये नाइन ईयर्स अचीवमेंट रिलीज करने वाली है एंड वी ऑल लो की जो एग्जामिनेशन होता है उसमें एक हफ्ते पहले से भी क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं सो यू हैव टू डू इट राइट एंड आई बिलीव दैट प्रीवियस कंटेंट यू हैव रिवाइज वेरी वेल सो यू शुड नाउ फोकस ऑन दीज थिंग्स जो अभी अभी पिछले अगले एक हफ्ते में जो भी न्यूज में करंट अफेयर्स होगा उसके ऊपर फोकस करना आपको जरूरी है ठीक है Now next is livestock health and disease control program, which was formed in 2021 by merging National Animal Disease Control Program and Livestock Health and Disease Control Scheme. It is a centrally sponsored scheme, and again restructure okay, it's for आगे बढ़ाया है till financial year 2025-26. It is being implemented to supplement the efforts of the state or UT governments towards prevention, control, and containment of animal diseases. of economic and zoonotic importance right jo bhi uh, state government ya ut government effort laga rahi hai in containing the animal diseases usko ye enhance karega usko ye supplement kare right and iske andar kuch major activities hai you guys can read it through the pdfs you don't have to remember it next is national animal disease control program the total number of animals year tagged under this program are nearly 25 crores so far 23.83 crore animals have been vaccinated against fmd which is food and mouth disease the vaccination against brucella has also commenced and so far 1.86 crore animals have been vaccinated so in this particular program i have taken only these three uh, sentences which are required for the examination next is uh, livestock sensors and integrated sample survey scheme so livestock sensors and integrated sample survey which means some kind of survey is being conducted under this particular scheme so livestock sensors ki baat kare so it is conducted quin quinally that is every 5 years in all the districts of all states and uts and it covers all the households or non households enterprises and institutions of rural and urban areas and if i am not wrong the livestock sensors last one was conducted in the year 2020 so the next time it will be conducted uh, it will be released in the year 2025 integrated sample survey what is it it brings out the estimates of major livestock products such as milk egg meat and wool uh, under this survey estimates are to be brought out annually which are used for policy and planning purposes ye annually aata hai aur wo quin quinally aata hai that is 5 years central assistance is being provided to the tune of 50 90 and 100% to the states northeastern states and uts respectively and the rest of the amount shall be borne by the respective state or ut governments or uh, administration all states and uts are covered under it and sample survey is conducted from march to february on seasonal basis by dividing survey years all right guys so that is all about the nine years achievement of ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying and this was only from the uh, uh, animal husbandry now fisheries ka bhi padhna hai wo hum agli class mein padhenge right ab aa jate hain बाकी अदर न्यूज पे सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड आई वेल मेड एनी क्वेश्चन हेयर ठीक है तो इसमें बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस की पॉसिबिलिटी है सो यू गाइस हैव टू कंप्लीट इट व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस टू एक्सेलरेट एडॉप्शन ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशिएंट टेक्नोलॉजीज सेटअप बाय ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियंसी न्यू डेली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द नेम ऑफ द सेंटर एक्सीलेंस इज उत्प्रेरक एंड इट हैज बीन सेटअप बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर इट इज अ डेडिकेटेड सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस टू एक्सेलरेट adoption of energy efficient technology okay there is a full form of utprerak as well which is unnat takniki pradarshan kendra unnat takniki pradarshan kendra uh, in english it means advanced industrial technology demonstration center remember it has been set up by bureau of energy efficiency at the new delhi campus of national power training institute remember it national power training institute ke new delhi campus mein it has been set up by bureau of energy efficiency all right it will serve as a strategic capacity building institution for improving energy efficiency of indian industry it will also serve as a one stop solution now one stop solution for what for energy professionals from across india for trainings and education in the energy sector and it is expected that it will provide 
intense training to more than 10,000 energy professionals from industry and other potential sector over the next five years because it is a center of excellence. There must be some kind of provision of trainings. Okay. So that is all and that's why option B is the correct answer with Prerak. Question number two, which city will be hosting Urban 20 Mayoral Summit under India's G20 Summit? This we have discussed already. Both bar have discussed kar liya hai. So this will take place in Ahmedabad in Gujarat in this month only in the month of July. And Urban 20, we all know, is one of the 11 engagement groups under G20. And Urban 20 may the discussions held regarding the urban development, right? Regarding the urban areas development. All right. So the objective is to provide platform for cities from G20 countries to facilitate discussions on various important issues on urban development. As I told you, it is a city diplomacy initiative wherein cities of participating nations discuss city level efforts which have been taken or which can be taken in future to address the global city level challenges. All right. Now, what have what has happened till now under India's G20 presidency and what will happen? So the Northern Ministry for U20 under India's G20 presidency is of course the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The, techni the technical secretariat is being housed by National Institute of Urban Affairs and U20 chair for current sixth cycle is Ahmedabad. The Sherpa meeting of U20 took place in the month of February in Ahmedabad again. And there is something which is U20 communique. What is it? U20 communique. It is an action oriented prepared document that brings to the fore the roles that cities can play in taking forward the G20 agenda. Okay, basically a document that you can tell what is the role of the cities in taking forward the G20 agenda. The six priority areas of U20 under India's G20 presidency are these. Now you don't have to remember all of them. You just have to read it once. Okay. So what is the correct answer? Ahmedabad option C is the correct answer. Question number two, which ministry has been awarded as the winner of Kreta Vikreta Gaurav Samman Samaro 2023. Kreta Vikreta means buyer seller, right? Buyer seller, uh, organized by Gamedi marketplace, uh, in highest single bid procurements in financial year 22, 23 category. Right, the ministry in question guys is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which has been awarded the Kreta Vikreta Gaurav Samman Samaro in the category of highest single bid procurements in financial year 23. Right, these awards are given to celebrate those departments or organizations or ministries who share the vision of a transparent, inclusive and efficient public procurement ecosystem in India. It was organized by Government in Marketplace as mentioned in the question. The correct answer is option C, Minister of Health and Family Welfare, headed by Mansuk Mandavia. Question number four, which portal has been launched by Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring to expedite the regulatory process for approval of animal drugs and vaccines? Very, very important question. The portal in question is Nandi portal, which stands for NOC approval of uh, NOC approval for new drug and inoculation system. NOC approval for new drug and inoculation system. And this portal will expedite, will enhance, will, uh, uh, you know, streamline the regulatory process for approval of animal drugs and vaccines. It has been developed by Department of Animal Husbandry and Daring through CDAC, which is Center for Development of Advanced Computing in coordination with CDSGO, that is Central Drug Standards Control Organization. All right. It will facilitate regulatory approval process with transparency to assess and examine veterinary product proposals. It will also streamline these proposals through seamless integration with Sugam portal of CDSCO. And it has various inbuilt features as well, which are not important for us. So the correct answer is Nandi portal option B. Option D is the correct answer guys. Question number five, which of the following statements is incorrect about Tenzing Norgay national adventure award. So it is in news because the nominations have been invited, but since it is in news, it becomes important for us. The Tenzing Norgay Adventure Award are being given to recognize the achievement of person associated in the field of adventure. So what the name is clear, right? Tenzing Norgay Adventure Award. It, these awards encourage young people to develop the spirit of endurance, risk-taking uh, taking capabilities, cooperative teamwork, 
क्विक रेडी एंड इफेक्टिव रिफ्लेक्सेज इन चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन ठीक है तो बेसिकली दीज अवार्ड्स आर गिवन टू रिकॉग्नाइज द पीपल इन द एरिया ऑफ एडवेंचर दैट्स इट इट इज द हाईएस्ट एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट अवार्ड ऑफ इंडिया गिवन बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ अफेयर्स इट वाज इंस्टिट्यूटेड इन द ईयर 93 94 एंड द अवार्ड्स आर गिवन इन फोर कैटेगरीज व्हिच आर लैंड एडवेंचर वाटर और सी एडवेंचर एयर एडवेंचर एंड लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट Also eligibility की बात करें so for the top so the first three categories that is land, water and air the achievements of last three years are considered while for the lifetime achievement award achievement of entire career is considered and reward कितना मिलता है a bronze statuette certificate blazer साड़ी whatever और पंद्रह लाख रुपए cash prize right and these awards are presented to the winners along with Arjuna awards by the government of India. So let's identify the incorrect statement. It is the second highest sporting award of India in adventure sports. No, not the second highest. It is the highest in adventure sport. The correct answer is option A because that is the incorrect statement. Question number six. Central government has decided again a very important question to extend soft loan through banks up to 30th September 2023 under scheme for extending financial assistance to sugar mills for augmentation of ethanol production capacity. Under the scheme, central government extends central government extends financial assistance in the form of interest subvention at the rate of what per annum or dash of the rate of interest charged by banks. ठीक है तो पढ़ते हैं पहले क्या है बात. So under the scheme, this is something which is very new for us. अभी अचानक से कोई scheme आ गई है market में. So let's read about it. Under the scheme for extending financial assistance to sugar mills for augmentation of ethanol production capacity. That is the name of the scheme. The objective is very clear. Under this scheme, the government provides financial assistance to sugar mills so that they can enhance the ethanol production capacity. Thereby, so that we can achieve the target of ethanol blending in petrol, so that we can achieve the target of uh, uh, you know the high of becoming the highest sugar producing country in the world. Okay, uh, because the ethanol ka wo hota hai by product. I believe it's a sugar banta hai. If I'm not wrong, okay. So, sugar mills for augmentation of ethanol production capacity. Central government has decided to extend soft loan to banks up to 30th September 2023. Earlier, this date was 31st March 2023. So now they have more chance to have the loans. Now remember, the soft loans under it are being provided for these four activities. Number one, setting up of new distilleries, expansion of existing distilleries, installment of incineration boilers. and installation of any method as approved by the central pollution control board for zero liquid discharge very technical just don't remember it just uh, give a single read to it duration of loan will be 5 years including one year of moratorium the interest subvention is 6% per annum or 50% of the rate of interest charged by the bank whichever is lower jo kam hoga right let's say for example the bank is charging 14% so 50% becomes 7% So the government will give six percent because between six percent or seven percent, uh, which is lower, six percent, all right. And the previous timeline, as I told you, it was up to thirty first March two thousand and twenty three. All right. So that is all uh, for this question, and the correct answer will be six percent, comma five percent, option B. Okay, guys. So now let's talk about the questions in short. जो कि बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं है आज. Thankfully, दो ही questions हैं. If you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. Question number seven: Where has the 69th India International Garment Fair been held? Very straightforward question. The correct answer is Greater Noida, which is located in Gautam Buddh Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh. And the last question for today: Which state government and Quality Council of India, in collaboration with industry associations like SOCM, FICCI, EEPC? and various others have launched gunavatta sankalp or you can say quality mission so the state government in question is odisha option e is the correct answer all right guys so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear and i hope the nine years achievements are also clear of the ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next class and marathon classes chal rahi hai so you guys should focus on marathon classes just after it at 9 am kandima ma'am will be taking the rba 247 marathon part 1
सो कीप स्टार्टिंग एंड कीप स्टार्टिंग हार्ट एक्चुअली कीप रिवाइजिंग एंड कीप रिवाइजिंग हार्ट गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस